if you are a JSS member and you are looking to become a network engineer, and when I say network, I'm talking about specifically working on Cisco routing, switching, and that sort of networking. I'm not talking about cloud here. I'm not talking about servers. I'm talking about an engineer who can work remotely or on premises. They get in to a data center or let's say uh, a business with a small room and then they have all these networking devices and that switches routers, firewalls and different type of networking devices that are there and you get into the CLI or different type of connections like using PuTTY and things like that. I'm talking about that sort of networking. I'm not talking about anything else. I want you to understand that this is for the people who would like to become a proper network engineer. So the first thing is that if you are coming from the IT support background, you're the IT support uh, person and you're trying to get into networking, then the first thing, as I always tell people, that mental readiness is super important when you're trying to get into something like this because it's going to be a lot of theoretical knowledge first and then performing that theory into practice. You cannot become a network engineering uh, or network engineer without knowing exactly how things are working inside that type of devices, such as routers or switches. You just can't. This is not something that can be an IT support type of training where I will teach you how to add a user in Active Directory and you can use the same process throughout your journey in this career. It doesn't work like that in networking because in this, you may go to a company and then they will have you configure something, but they may want you to utilize networking in a different way. So for that, you need to understand exactly how things are working. So if you are mentally ready and you know exactly what I'm talking about, such as like networking, and when you go to job description, I'm specifically talking about a person uh, where you're going to see in job descriptions, such as like troubleshooting networks, uh, working on ACLs, working on routers or switches. And these are the type of things you're going to come across inside a job description. You're not going to see too many uh, Windows Server troubleshooting, Active Directory, or cloud computing, stuff like that. We're talking about specifically, you have a building, and in that building, you got this room, and in that room, they have some really cool networking devices, and everything is connected to that. So maybe they have multiple floors, and on th and those multiple floor have switches and routers or switches, and they're connecting back to the main routers or switches in that same company or maybe it's a uh, a campus where you have one campus connected to another campus or maybe you're working for msp and you're remotely connecting into different type of businesses each each business is different but they have switches and routers and then you are the person who is going to be working with that i'm talking about that sort of networking so in jsys the first uh, thing that we require is that you should be working in some sort of IT support career or IT type of uh, job role because we think that you already know what is a computer, what is IP, what is basics of Active Directory and things like that. So you know that stuff, right? So we're not recommending this roadmap to the people who are brand new to IT. That's the first thing I want to clear that uh, any uh, any type of this type of education is something in JSS. We do not tell people that you should become a network engineer right from becoming like, say, you're transitioning from accounting. I would never recommend this type of roles because it's very specific. It's very targeted and it's a lot to learn in the beginning. So the first thing is that if you have already covered this part, then that's great. If not, I will show you where to get started with this if you're in that stage. But let's say you're not in that stage. You're moving away. You're getting into networking now then the first course in our education is called Network and Systems Administration, which is basically targeting a Network Plus type of education. But of course, our education is way more than certification. It's more practical. We made our own lectures and we cover the things that Network Plus usually don't cover because they want you to pass certification. We want you to get the job. So we are combining these two. So the first requirement for everybody in our platform is to cover this course, which is available in the roadmap. And then once you cover that, then you are going to get into another course, which is called Core Networking Knowledge Packet Tracer, meaning an instructor is going to go over lectures. And in that lectures, 
uh, he is going to create scenarios and in that scenarios he's going to use packet tracer because a lot of time in networking when somebody wants to explain something to you they should give you some sort of uh, visual information a visual layout and that visual layout can be only achieved from packet tracer type of technologies so the first one is that you're going to spend a lot of hours just to get that theory and then also practice done so then you know exactly what you're working on and then after that we have practical ccna type of course which is basically real routers real switches so now you already got the core knowledge you already got the theoretical with some practice and now you're going to implement it in the real systems just like a real network engineer so what's going to happen you're going to basically unlock a lot of skills and that is what's going to give you confidence to go towards what networking role so your target is going to be anything that is that has to do with networking. So they can call you network engineer, knock engineer, junior network engineer, Cisco engineer, whatever they want to call you. But it's going to be a lot of networking type stuff. But then when you do this, you also unlock a lot of other additional uh, roles with its supportive. I would say like it supports the roles. So if you become a sysadmin later on, if you that's what you want to do, you're going to be very solid with networking. You can achieve that in cloud administration as well. When you go to the networking side of cloud, and you're going to know all that stuff. DevOps, same thing. Cybersecurity, same thing. So of course, this is going to be like you're going into these other positions with some solid networking. So that's not going to be an issue for you because you already got the networking done in a very extensive way now if you want to become a sysadmin after it support then i'm not going to recommend the route this route because we have different routes that touches networking in a nice way you learn about it but you don't go so deep into networking where you are going to spend hours upon hours upon hours to become a network engineer that that's not going to be the case over there so that's why you need to follow a different roadmap so make sure if you're going to become this person then you follow what we are telling you exactly how to do things step by step so if you want to become a cisco engineer this is what you need to follow so now let me show you in the course uh like the roadmaps how you are going to need to finish all of these uh step by step in a practical way so as I mentioned, if you're brand new, again, for everybody, they need to start with a modern IT support roadmap. That's when you become a premium member. You'll click on roadmaps. And here you will basically start the modern IT support roadmap. This is for the uh, absolute beginners. And even people who have landed IT support job and they want to get foundational knowledge corrected, then this is going to be the maps that you need to follow. Now, if you want to start the networking roadmap, for that, the first roadmap you need to finish is called Transitioning Skills Roadmap. That's the one that I mentioned that has network administration, targeting network plus type of training. And of course, ours is more practical. So you need to finish this one course in this roadmap. So if you go and click on this roadmap, you're going to see this network and systems administration. You will start this course and then you will go through the videos and labs inside this course, which is also very practical. It has a lot of networking uh, labs as well so by the time you get into a proper networking uh, and uh, dedicate a lot of time then you already know about uh, networking even from this course so it's not going to be something so new to you at this point so once you finish that roadmap you're going to come down and now you're ready to start the cisco specific networking so let's go down all the way and here it is cisco network engineer roadmap and you're going to go ahead and click on start roadmap and once you start the roadmap you're going to see this now so you see even in this roadmap we made sure that we put that um you know transitioning skills course in this roadmap so if you if you would have finished it it's going to show 100 percent right here but if you have not finished it you will need to go back to that course and finish it that's just to make sure that you don't skip over this so that's number one that's going to be done then you see how we have Cisco Core Networking Knowledge Packet Tracer. And this is where you are going to start working on this course. It's going to be a lot of videos about theory, explaining things in details, and then with exercising on Packet Tracer that you can download for free on your own home computer. So you can see when you come to the IPv4 uh, subnetting, that's where you're going to see a 67 minutes long lecture. And then there are exercises. Same with VLANs. Uh, all other things that you're going to come across this this is something that's the core knowledge of networking if somebody say oh, i am a network engineer then if i ask you these questions right here how what is acl nat stuff like that you should be able to answer these things because that that is exactly what a real engineer will need to know 
when they are getting into networking and then once you cover that in the packet tracer type of training you're going to go into a real uh, devices type of network so you're going to go ahead and open this course then and this is a huge course this is a huge and practical course by the way even though in this course you're going to come across lectures but it's not going to be like the first one so now the whole point of this course is to yes you're going to learn about the lecture in the beginning just for a little bit but then you're going to immediately get into the real systems as you can see these are real servers using putty uh, real routers configuration of the switch right here so once you go in there the real switch will come up and that is exactly the whole point of our training is that we want to teach you the theoretical stuff with practical things in the beginning touching here and there warming you up and then at the end you should be totally focused in networking day and night you're just doing networking right here and when you get out of this whole practical approach you're going to be super confident that you have done a lot of networking hands-on way so of course after that we have another a course added here network uh, networking real world exercises so we created this custom course once you get into there there's some custom videos uh, on rail routers and switches we try to update this always but uh, the main part of the networking courses that you need to finish is cisco networking core knowledge and cisco network engineer cisco devices that's the main one when you finish these two you are definitely ready to become a junior network engineer at any company if they have on-premises type of networking requirements where you deal with switches routers and different type of networking projects you're definitely going to be able to feel good about it because you have done so much or hands-on on this let us know if you have any other question this is how you become a network engineer in jsa